It is easy to see. Amanda has undergone a noticeable transformation since walking through the gates of Maple Bassett Correctional Center back in 2013. I know for me, it's been just an amazing transformation. Her name is Brittany. <laughs> Oklahoma's only cosmetology school inside a prison has been a place for makeovers. It is. And I'm not talking about hair and makeup. <laughs> This is life makeovers. It is life makeovers. And you know, um, when it comes to um, some of the things that the decisions that we make in life that um, we didn't think about them ahead of time, but what the devil meant for harm, God turns into good. So Amanda is a teaching assistant in this beauty school. She is the very first to earn her master cosmetology and barber instructor certifications. We submitted our barber curriculum to the cosmetology board and we're just waiting for it to be approved so we can offer cosmetology and barbering here. So that's what we're doing. Amanda has been instrumental in helping shape the lives of dozens of other incarcerated women. God can use me to be able to, it's like a ripple effect, I'm like dropping a stone in the water and it just goes out. And so it's not about me, but he's doing some pretty awesome things. So. I'm very grateful. You know, when God opens the door and gives us an opportunity to be able to not only transform our lives, but other people's lives, I think um, that's just mind blowing to me in a place called prison. Turns out, beauty school really is a great metaphor for life. And the cool thing is, is that if it's not working the way you want it to, you can always take the pens out and. Um... So, you mean we can all have a do over? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Everyone deserves a do-over. It's pretty incredible when it happens. This class is all the proof you need. You can find purpose any place, even prison. If that's the way that um, he chooses to reach us is by blowing our minds, in a place called prison, I'll take it.